The DePaul Blue Demons have won back-to-back -back Big East games and are coming off a top 25 road win at St. John's. A big reason for that is senior forward Femi Aloujavi, who had a huge game, 27 points, 8 rebounds. And Femi, you're a Long Island native. How cool was it to do it in front of family and friends close to home in Queens? Um, it was amazing. It was a, a phenomenal atmosphere. Um, I know after the game, I heard a lot uh, about Section 11, about how just everybody's going crazy up there. I don't think the St. John's fans really appreciated it much, but um, it was great to just be home and play in front of family and friends. Uh, it was my first time playing in New York uh, since like my entire pre uh, collegiate career. So it just, it was a lot of energy before the game, throughout the game and all that. And I feel like it showed on the court. Your first time playing in New York and you got a win. How much you looking forward to playing at Madison Square Garden in March? Oh man, you know, that's a dream of mine. Uh, the garden, just growing up in New York, that's all. Every kid who plays basketball dreams just, you know, play in the garden someday. It's an amazing just venue. Um, I didn't get the chance to play there throughout high school. A lot of teams do, especially in the PSAL. But um, this will be my first time playing in the garden as well. So I'm just really excited. I know I have a lot of people there uh, supporting. You're an impact grad transfer for this DePaul team. What would you say has been the difference for this team in the past couple of games as opposed to maybe earlier in the season in your ability to close out these last couple of games? Um, just trusting in one another. Um, I feel like it's kind of took some time just, you know, gradually. It's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done to just be able to fully invest your trust in within your teammates and not try to do too much as like uh, individuals at certain times. But now it's just like we rally and we utilize each other's energy just to just pick up off each other. If stuff happens, we don't get down, we don't pout about it. Um, we understand that not everything's picture perfect, but at the end of the day, the, the, the huge picture is just getting a W, and that's, that's what we all want to do. What's your first taste of Big East basketball, Ben? My first taste of Big East basketball? Um, yeah. Probably looking up at the Jumbotron and seeing I only had two rebounds. That was about it, so yeah. That was, uh, that was pretty much a reality check. I know I had to get in there, uh, get a little grittier, you know, just uh, kind of just be more assertive. So mm -hmm. just adjusting to that, just just being an impact on the board is just definitely, it's, it's the difference between the Big East and the MEAC and the uh, Horizon League. Max Struess, we all say it across the Big East, the Struess is loose. To be playing alongside him, when he gets in that mode, What's it like from your vantage point? Um, it's amazing to see. Uh, honestly, he's one of the best shooters that I've ever played alongside. Uh, I, I played alongside some, some pretty good shooters, um, as Max Hooper from Oakland. And I feel like Max, well, coincidentally, they both have the first name Max. But uh, <laughs> Drew, he, um, he's definitely at the, the same level as, as uh, Hooper. And they, they could really shoot the ball and just see. And they're like, once he gets into that zone, you know pretty much anything that he puts up is – is is a pretty good chance that it's going in, so it's always just nice to see it. Max said earlier this year, after you had beaten Penn State, you want to be the group that can get this program turning around and heading in the right direction. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a huge deal. You know, I came here in hopes of, of playing to compete in the, the NCAA tournament. Um, that's the, the big picture. That's what we want to do. Of course, we want to advance and we want to play for as long as we can, especially during uh, come, come March. So that's just something that we all just visualize and we all want. We work for it very hard. We know it's going to be probably the hardest thing that we ever have to do, but we're very accepting of that. And I think that's what's allowing us to um, kind of take steps towards that. And I know that pretty much everybody on this team has that, um, that mindset and we're all attacking it the same way. We come to here and practice. We work hard every single day. We're just trying to get better. And we're focusing on one day at a time, which I feel like is it's a huge deal because it just makes everything so much easier. Just doing that, you know, if you just focus on the day at hand, then everything will take care of itself. Let's go off the court, rapid fire. When you get a chance to have a break in the grind of practice in class, what is Femi Oluja be doing? Uh, you probably found me on 2K or Fortnite. You the best 2K player on the team, or, or is Fortnite your strength? Which one? Both. Both. It's a landslide. Yeah, it's, it's a landslide. It's a landslide, yeah. Excuse me? 
Who's your biggest competitor on the team? Biggest competitor in 2K, probably, uh, probably Devin, Devin Gage. Okay. And, and Fortnite, um, I don't know. I know Flynn plays a lot, so I, I, I'll probably bet my money that Flynn's probably uh, second best, but far second. What's on the Femi playlist? Femi playlist. Uh, a lot of Jake Rich. Uh, some New York um, artists, Jake Rich, uh, Davies. Um, I'm pretty much everywhere with it. I'm not really holding to one specific genre. If I like it, I'll, I'll listen to it. But those are pretty, uh, those two uh, artists that I listen to before games a lot. You get to be on a two on two team with anybody. You get to pick any current, past player. Who are you playing with? And why? That's tough. Um, well, I, I want to win, so I think I'm going to take Michael Jordan. I know whatever we do, I don't care how bad I play, he'll, he'll propel us to a victory. So, yeah, I could give him the ball and get out the way. That's a good Chicago answer from a Long Island native. <laughs> yeah, really. Thanks for joining us. Good luck against Butler on Wednesday. Thank you for having me. Thank you.